What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Tuesday night. It is September 26, 2023, about 10.07 in the p.m. out here in California. The latest activity shows, uh, looks like 1.5 over here in Northern California. Did see some movement ramping up here in Alaska just a short time ago with a five-pointer stirring up out here around Sand Point, Alaska. Coming in at about 49 kilometers deep. A couple other shallower earthquakes up here towards the north smaller in magnitudes let's go ahead and check out the uh, west coast here uh, up into the uh, pacific northwest still seeing a handful of smaller quakes looks like a little bit of movement outside the ravensdale area of washington near black diamond a couple smaller quakes there in the one magnitude range up here around mount st helens i think they're still having a little bit of activity got a 0.0, .0 magnitude earthquake coming in 2.3 kilometers deep uh, let's see, out here in the Blanco Fracture Zone, did see a little bit of activity as well with a 3.4 late afternoon time period here. Out uh, Again, out in that fra Fracture Zone. Uh, I want to double check the trimmer map here tonight and see what we have. That's not tonight's trimmer. Tonight's trimmer is going to be about eight epicenters here uh, underneath this region. Not a, big, not a big number at all. Very small amount of trimmer activity uh, out there in the... Uh, subduction zone of the Cascadia all right what else we got here into Northern California handful of smaller quakes as well 3.4 in the Willow Creek area that one coming in earlier this morning about 11 o'clock or so uh, far as 2.5 and above well there's not a whole lot Ridgecrest area did see some uh, uh, looks like a 2.5 and a 3.0 near Little Lake along with a handful of smaller quakes here over the last 24 hours. So slight uptick here across this region. Not really seeing anything major going on up here across the, uh, the Bay Area for now. And the extreme Southern California region, handful of smaller quakes here and there, but that's very typical. Uh, looks like a little bit of movement though with on the, within that plate boundary, the San Andreas Fault, uh, just outside the Banning area, but uh, no major swarms to take note of out there uh, so far. Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and key up this area. Just get a, a general idea of what's going on or maybe what's not going on. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of activity. Maybe some wind events here earlier, uh, but that's about it. Really no major movement, uh, any type of earthquake activity to chat about, nothing. Um, across the uh, area of the Puerto Rico region, seen a handful of quakes up here. Been an off and on deal seems like over the past oh i don't know for quite a while uh seen a little bit of swarming up here across the puerto rico trench no major large-scale movement that that we've seen up here at all but uh the possibilities are always there that's that's a very dynamic area in terms of stress uh within those plate boundaries uh 5.4 this was coming in late last night I did see a little bit of activity here into the deeper zones of the middle america trench 142 kilometers for this uh, 4.8 earlier this morning uh, and a handful of smaller earthquakes across the Chile area uh, over here around the Tonga region the last one a 4.5 300 kilometers deep and uh, New Zealand check out New Zealand real quick here and uh, see what's going on looks like uh, 11 hours ago 4.0 that uh, tells me right there that there's probably not a whole lot of activity going on there across New Zealand. This is the uh, the seismograph stations or the seismograph drums, whichever you want to uh, utilize there. Looks like a handful of smaller quakes across this area of South Island. Uh, I'm pretty certain that's close to where that six-pointer struck. Well, maybe not, huh? Maybe it looks like it's just to the... Uh, just to the west but still a little bit of activity stirring up here this station right here is a little bit more positioned around where that six pointer uh came in there last week or about seven days ago or so it's been a little while um and as you can see there's uh there's some earthquake activity but it definitely has died down in the last 24 hours uh so things are returning back to normal across that area uh there's that four pointer showed up here about 12 or so hours ago south island area but we really haven't seen too much movement following that uh earthquake there 
uh, across the Western Pacific. Uh, didn't really fill in, well, Solomon Islands, we were watching this area for some potential larger scale movement, but we only seen a, a handful of smaller quakes here in the last couple days. 4.7 is well below what I was expecting to see here. Uh, this area has been building up some strain for a little bit, and this is always almost active all the time. Uh, 4.7, 80 kilometers deep. We'll continue to watch this region, though. Uh, up here along the Izu Trench, Japan area, latest one at 5.0 into the Izu Trench here, about 17 kilometers deep or so. Nothing major going on there yet. And the Kuro Kamachaka, quiet for now. As far as the uh, Java Trench regions go, let's see what we got. Doesn't look like too much activity stirring up here in the last 24 hours. Mostly uh, some twos and threes out here uh, up along that plate boundary. Uh, further west here across the Mediterranean, handful of quakes out there, including some movement up around Poland. Uh, they did see some activity uh, 4.5 earlier this morning. Not for sure what's out here specifically within this region. There was at Lebanon. Hopefully that's correct. It might be a different pronunciation, but that's what it looks like. Um, but the EMSC models look like they're showing... Uh, well, I think EMSC is going with a 5.2, while the uh, USGS went with, went with a 4.5 from this earthquake. So that's why you see two earthquakes distinct um, on that globe. And that 5-pointer, I believe, is going to be uh, just a uh, falsely reported magnitude uh, from a smaller quake that may have taken place here around Spain or the uh, Portugal area. Not a whole lot going on through the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean for now. Things are just kind of um, as is. Not seeing any major huge upticks anywhere. And really, um, you know, if you think about it, it's pretty much a typical day along the plate boundary. No huge swarms, no unusual activity anywhere. Just a typical movement. Space weather activity? Well, entering into that blackout time right now again seems to always kick up whenever I do the nightly update. I may have to work around that. Uh, far as flaring goes, well, this is a UV filter ray here. We do have a um, large sunspot on the northeastern limb. Let me see what we got going on here. This could be 3448, newly named sunspot. So welcome there to the visible disk. Pretty large. If you look at the, um, you know, the area as a whole but there's not a whole lot of complexity within the sunspot so uh, there's a couple different ones ahead of it looks like maybe forming slightly but overall goodness um, the majority of these sunspots are disappointing to say the least I had my hopes up for this one but seems as though as soon as I you know, was keeping my eye on it it started to uh, dissipate so uh, maybe I better start ignoring these and see what happens. Let's do a little experiment, all right? So if you guys see me ignore a major sunspot or really don't uh, chat about it too much, then uh, I, I just want to see see how it reacts, right? I'm not going to talk too much about quantum physics, but uh, the observer effect is a uh, kind of a, a big a big thing. All right, um, let's go ahead and move on here for now. And it uh, looks like 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 40% chance and the X flare probability still remains at 15% chance. But I think that's just due to the uh, uh, sunspots uh, conditions over the past few days. But probably a lot less than what these uh, threat levels are for now. No major auroras or no major solar uh, storms in the forecast creating auroras for now. Pretty green across the board. And, um, yeah, we'll just kind of, uh, I'm not going to say keep my eye on it because I don't want to jinx it, but we'll continue to monitor activity. All right. Uh, how about hurricanes out there? National Hurricane Center, anything going on out in the Central Pacific? Got one potential development out here, it looks like. 20% um, chance. Just an unorganized cluster of thunderstorms right now. Uh, continue to keep an eye on that for the Pacific out here in the Atlantic. 
Felipe, is that right? Felipe, looks like that's right. Uh, currently tropical storm. Uh, watching this one because it is starting to uh, <coughs> make its path over towards the uh, Dominican Republic area, Puerto Rico. But as of right now, it looks like this is going to be just a tropical depression. I, it doesn't look like it's going to be strengthening any at all, at least according to uh, the National Hurricane Center. All right, uh, what else we got? Anything major going on here for the numerical model? Pacific Northwest getting uh, quite a bit of rainfall here in California. Only seen a few sprinkles, at least in my neck of the woods. And it uh, looks like we got another storm system here towards early next week. And ooh, what's that blue on the map? Look at that. You guys know what that is, right? Snow. <laughs> Some colder temperatures coming down here uh, along with... Uh, Ooh, I like that. Look over here. Can't uh, can't ignore that either. Not for sure where that's coming from. If that's Felipe or um, this may be a new developing system down here. But we'll keep an eye on that. But I'm hoping this rings true because that shows some impressive rainfall totals here uh, for my neck of the woods here in California. Again, it's a way. It's a ways out, right? far as these weather models go but uh yeah i get excited when i see um some precipitation on the map it's kind of sad i know but you know I, I don't think we get enough out here in northern california let's check out the northern hemisphere here now i'm going to go to the i don't want to go to that uh, I want to see what's going on up here north. There's this massive high pressure system that's been parked up here in the upper regions here of Canada for quite a while. And that does play a part on what's going on around it, so to speak. And, and more, con more concerned about the western coast and what's going on down here in the east as well. Let me make this a little bit smaller. So I can uh, see what's going on here. Just going to put this into motion a little bit. Now watch this troughing over here across California. Deepening troughing. troughing. <laughs> that is um, towards the th this weekend. I'm going to bring with it some cooler temperatures and some rain for California. I was just looking at that high pressure system. It looks like finally maybe that potential... Uh, high pre that high pressure gets booted out of its position and replaced with some troughing. It does look like there's more troughing uh, starting to build up here as we head into the first, second week of October. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I'd rather see a lot more blue up there in the polar regions in the orange and red. But then again, if the high pressure stays up here, I'm fine. As long as we get troughing down here, uh, that'll make some some California people happy and that's that's me I'd love to see some more rainfall but we'll watch this and see how it does see how it plays out all right uh, let's see we got anything major going on here all calm and clear on the seismograph stations it looks like for now not a whole lot um, drawings coming up one, two, three, four days, about four days away. Make sure you get in on that drawing. We are giving away some cool prizes, so get your name in on that uh, lucky ticket. We'll be picking out 10 people. Uh, probably peaked out on the max here. We got, well, we still got to add the last couple days in, but last time I checked, we had about 330 entries into the uh, drawing. And I uh, can't wait. We'll be doing that live here with Missy Mimi's on that date, which is uh, a Saturday. Yeah, that'd be a Saturday. All right, uh, what else? We got anything major going on? Hey, geez, I don't think so. Volcano hazards, anything drastic going on out here for the volcanoes? Doesn't look like it. Shish Haldin has calmed back down slightly after a little bit of eruptive activity up there. Kilauea Volcano is still just uh, taking a pause in the um, eruptive activity. Not a whole lot of uh, 
visible anything out there across the big island for now and um Let's see what we got for tilt meters out here. Starting to go back up, but that's expected, right? In a volcano after eruption. Uh, but we're not seeing anything drastic going up right now. Let me check out the um, latest information here, if it's put out or not. It will. It is. Goodness. All right. It's put out today on Kilauea Volcano. Uh, Kilauea Volcano is not erupting, and no significant changes have been observed at the summit or in either rift zones since the summit eruption that began on September 10th and it ended uh, on the 16th so not a huge uh, deal uh, er future eruptions at Kilauea summit remain possible and the HVO continues to monitor activity uh, it looks like there was some spots there of, of a heightened heated lava or you know the, the heat from the lava uh, continues to cool on the down dropped block within the caldera. It is unlikely that the recent eruption will resume based on the behavior of past short lived summit fissure eruptions at Kilauea Summit. So, um, yep, we'll continue to watch that though. It was pretty active for a little while. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. Have a good one. You stay safe out there, and uh, we will chat you guys sometime tomorrow. Take care.